Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today we're testing out the Warwick 980H. So, you probably know this already, but I'm real excited to give this guy a try. Nice big paint gun, professional quality. I already tested out the 904 and it was it was awesome. I loved it. I loved it so much that I got that I kind of hounded Warwick and, and made them yeah, set up something so that I could sell it to you guys at a discount. Well, I don't really sell it, but I got you a discount for it. Um, so I'm putting the link in the description below to the website where you can do that. If you haven't seen the 904 uh, demo, check it out. Great gun, reasonable price, awesome for said price. And yeah, I, I, I was very happy with it. And I, at the time I was like, well, this is probably the best paint gun I own now. And uh, you know, I can't afford a $700 one to outperform it. So it became my go-to. This is even better, I'm told. So this is the pro quality version of the 904, essentially. It's got the controls set up a little differently. You've got your fan pattern on the side. Your paint adjustment has a lock on it. It's a little bit heavier, a little bit sturdier, uh, bigger, more travel in the trigger for more control. Yeah, 1.4 mil nozzle. Ah, I just, I wanna stop talking and just get to it, but I've already had this added to the website because I'm pretty damn confident that it is gonna be awesome. And I'm, yeah, that's, that's about all I have to say about that. So yeah, we're gonna give this a try today. This, I assume, is gonna be my new polyurethane top coat gun. That's what we're gonna be spraying. I've done a demo on a guitar with the, I haven't published them yet though, they're coming out after this guy, with their minigun, their 878 I think it is, and their airbrush. I can tell you the minigun, highly recommend. I was actually very pleasantly surprised because I don't find that miniguns perform well generally. The airbrush, it was a detail brush, I'm, I'm fond of it but definitely have a look at that video before you decide whether or not you want one because a detail brush is not for everybody. Um, this, I wouldn't say a beginner would want one. But now we're moving on to the big guns, uh, literally and figuratively. So let's get out there and, and give this thing a good old fashioned demo and see what we end up with. What else is there to say? So I told you it was gonna be awesome. I mean, it was awesome, <laughs> no doubt. Uh, I guess that doesn't make for much of a story. It's not like when I did their mini gun. Well, you haven't seen that video yet, but you will. Um, when I demoed their mini gun, I was like, oh God, it's a mini gun, it's not gonna work. Uh, and then it was awesome. This guy, exactly like I expected. It was great. I told you it would be just beautiful fan pattern as you saw, tons of trigger control range that you can work in. The, uh, the fan adjustment is nice and nice and smooth, but I mean, I, I had it almost, I always have it almost full wide. I don't go full wide because I want to be able to um, put out a little bit more paint into that, that area. And I want to make sure that there's no gap in the middle. Sometimes on, on guns, when you adjust them to full width, you get a little bit of a gap in the middle. I somehow don't think that that would be an issue with this guy. But yeah, 
fantastic gun. I'm very excited to get using it on, uh, to start using it, get using it, get going with it. I don't know. I'm very excited to start doing some projects with this. So stay tuned and we are going to get on to, uh, to some paint jobs in the near future where I put this guy to work. This is going to be my new top coat gun. That was a catalyzed polyurethane that I was spraying. So this is going to be my catalyzed polyurethane gun from now on. I find that, uh, you need a good quality gun to spray that stuff. It's automotive clear. It's what I use on, on guitars when I, when I'm not doing a, like a vintage or aging finish. It's what I use on motorcycles and the like one time that I've been, that I've worked on spraying a car, of course, that's what we used because that's what you're supposed to. You saw the video of the finished piece there. Uh, the paint was still wet, so it will have some time to level out a little more, but I just want to make sure everyone's aware that's a textured metal piece and it's got like p patterns ground into it and it's got that paint that was masked off and put on there. So it's not a flat surface. So you kind of have to look past the fact that there were some waves in it and look at the clarity of the reflection of the lights and stuff like that. That was a beautiful coat of paint. Um, there was no orange peel in there, but it's not a flat surface. So it's gonna come out ripply because the thing that I'm painting underneath is ripply. Like I said, as it sets, it's gonna level out a little more and then I'm gonna have a good fun time polishing it or scuffing it up for some more color work. So if you have any questions about this, feel free to let me know in the comments section below. If you want one, check out the website. The link is in the description. The discount code so I can get you guys 10% off on this is BRAD10%. No spaces, all caps. I'll write that down in the description too because I'm too lazy to put it in the video. Uh, and if you want to go a little cheaper than this, the 904 is also a great gun. If you need a mini gun, well, that's on there too. And if you need an airbrush, I'm going to get that put on there as well. But like I said, wait for the demo for the airbrush. I'm not just going to say straight up, you want this. Because if you're a beginner, you probably don't wait for that. So that's about it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up because this paint gun deserves a thumbs up as far as I'm concerned. Uh, literally the only thing that I would potentially change about this, and I wouldn't for me, but for some people, they might want it uh, a little bit lighter. This guy is a very substantial gun, and it's a little on the heavier side. It's not the heaviest one I've used, but it's not the lightest either. Some of the professional level guns are made a little bit lighter than this guy. I think Warwick also has one that's lighter than this as well, but uh, I like them a little heavier for stability and everything. So if I were painting a semi-truck, I'd probably want a lighter gun. For me, this is perfect. Please subscribe if you haven't already so you can keep up with the cool projects that I am going to put this guy to use on. And as always, thanks for watching, have a good one, and I will see you next time.